Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. Ooh. I'm an awful garbage, filthy mouth. So viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I'm doing this all backwards. This is a completed look. <laughs> Air horns aplenty. Hi babies. Um, this is the completed look of everything that I'm going to show you in today's video. Because y'all listen, I decided to waste my money so you didn't have to. Profusion X Casper collection. Because yeah, maybe I got a little drunk during makeup bingo and maybe I got a little nostalgic about Casper and I was like, you know what? I need to know if this is good or not. I really, really, really do love Profusion. I think they make really fun collections. I'm still kind of like on a fun high from the Jurassic Park collection. And I lost it when I saw this collection because it's just, it's Casper. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. So in today's video, I picked up a little bit of everything. I didn't get the full collection because I refuse to get setting spray that is mace. <laughs> uh, but what I did get was the following. The beautiful mirror, the makeup bag, sponges, the 28 pan eyeshadow palette, Ooh. both holographic highlighters, the cheek and lip balm trio, and last but certainly not least, the set of three glitter toppers. So in today's video, we are gonna do a try on of all the products and kind of walk you through the process. It, shocking. <laughs> Some things are shocking, some things not so much, but I hope you do enjoy. And uh, yeah, I wasted my money so you didn't have to. So the first product we're gonna be using today is the Lip and Cheek Balm. So I am gonna use it for both, but let's just start with the cheeks first. So like what I have on my face is just a little bit of foundation, concealer, and some contour. And if you wanna know what this cool, fun contour is, it's from Milani, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite drugstore finds. This is just ugh, fucking perfection. Now. That said, the Casper the Friendly Ghost, the Ghostly Trip, a three-piece set, retails for about $11, which is really good. And uh, these are the colors that we have here. So do they have names? That would be great. Do they not have names? I don't think they have names. No, they do. Okay. So, <laughs> so the purple one is Love You. Oh, how sweet. The coral shade in the middle is Ghosted. Then the pink shade is called Hey Boo. So I think what I wanna do is, I kinda wanna use the pink and the purple. So <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna see how this goes, but I need a brush, hold on. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try the e.l.f. putty primer brush thing. I wanna see something. So I'm just gonna apply it just in the brush. Initially I was gonna try it with a stick, but I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like dealing with bullshit today. <laughs> and I kind of feel like it might be difficult or it might smudge the shit that I have underneath, but that looks pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little more. Oh, I like her, she's nice. I am gonna take a bit of a damn sponge though. Just kind of go over it just a little bit. I like this. I think it's really pretty. It's a very like light pink, very virginal. And I feel like I'm gonna be sacrificed to a volcano. So yay, we love that. So what I wanna do too, cause for shits and giggles, why not, right? I'm gonna add a little bit of purple right on top of it. <laughs> I love this, okay. The formula is really nice. It's not disrupting any of the product that I have underneath. I mean, she's just cute. I'm just gonna just go over with a sponge. Only because I went a little ham in the front there. She's cute. I like the combination of the two. I'm just gonna add a little bit more because I am a whore for blush. Why not put it on my nose too? Oh, I look like I just came out of the cold. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I love this so much. This is super cute. I'm gonna do it to the other side. I really like how soft these look. It's giving that watercolor feel. It's also drying down really, really fast as well. So mama's a fan. Now the thing that I'm most excited about besides the cute mirror, of course, and the cute sponges that I will never ever use in my life. And also the makeup bag, cause that's really adorable as well. <laughs> I'm excited about these highlighters. Ah, I love this. So we have two holographic highlighters. We have the Ghosting You, which looks like it's going to have kind of like a blue, kind of a flip to it. Also, I will say the packaging for the highlighters, not that easy to open. So just kind of a heads up there. Oh, oh bitch. Okay, okay, run, don't walk. Run, don't walk, holy shitticles. Okay. Oh God, I want that all over my butt. All right, so that, <laughs> that's Ghosting You. And then we have Fabulous, Fabulous. This one has more of like a purple flip, but it also kind of looks pink too. 
Okay, very exciting. I am excited. They feel really, really nice. Oh yeah. Okay, so the blue is like a blue purple when I flip it down. And then the other one is more of like a pink kind of gold but like a little bit of purple though too. I'm surprised that they're saying that they're duochrome because it kind of feels a little bit more multi-chrome, but in a more like wearable way. Cause you know how sometimes I have multi-chrome highlighters that you're like, where, where the fuck am I gonna wear that? Like it's amazing, but I'm like, I don't have the confidence to pull that shit off. This, I can get behind though. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> so that was a demon inside me. I'm just so excited. Okay, so let's try this one. We're gonna try the Fabulous. Do not fail me. <gasps> oh, you bitch, this is, uh, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. We could shut it down, shut the video down. It doesn't matter anymore. This is, this is all you need. Just get the cheek stuff. <laughs> just get the cheek blush and just get these highlighters. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, alien slut reporting for duty. Okay, so here's the deal. There is some micro glitter. I do see some micro glitter. It is a little, it's a little bukkake-esque, but who gives a shit? Like it's fine. <laughs> It's fucking cool looking. Honestly, you could see like the flip of like, like this pinky and purple and blue. It's nice. This is everything that I wanted it to be and then some. And this is gorgeous. And I only really had to go in with one swipe. That's one swipe. One swipe. <laughs> like that is amazing. So let me just, uh, I'm gonna switch brushes. We're gonna go in with a fatter brush for the ghost in you. Bitch. <laughs> um. Okay, uh, I, I I flew a little too close to the sun. Hold on. <laughs> I love this, but it's so, it's so, it, wow. Okay, okay, okay. I'm committing, I'm committing. Oh, I love this, but I think the brush might be a little bit, um, shit, might be a little bit, wow. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I need to form words so then I can make a sentence because right now my makeup schlong is like, Bursting. Okay, bursting, bitch. This is so, this is good. Again, same issue. There is, uh, I would say probably on this side, or maybe it's because it's the brush that I'm using. The glitter is a little kind of all over the place, but it's really pretty though. But keep in mind, these are glittery highlighters. Not the most glittery, glittery, gl that's a word. It's not the glitteriest. Saying it like that just sounds really gross, but it's not the most glitzy. Let's go glitzy. <laughs> I feel better with glitzy. I feel like I'm not gonna get demonetized for that one. Uh, <laughs> they'd be like, we heard you say something else. Um, so I think on this, I've definitely had highlighters that were way more sparklier. Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't help it. I had, I had to put more on. Uh, <laughs> there was a good amount of glitter in them. So if you do not like a glittery highlighter, this is definitely not for you. And I'm seeing like glitter in my hair. So that's cool too. I would say that the ghosting you feels like it's a little bit more intense. The fabulous, let me see, let me try it with my finger. Okay. No, I mean, no, definitely the ghosting you feels a little bit more intense than the fabulous. Uh, Cause I feel like the sparkles aren't that wild on this side than they are on this side. This side's like, holy, okay, okay, fuck me up. But they're so pretty. They're so pretty. They're so cool. I like them. So again, if you do not like a glittery highlighter, don't buy them. But if you are someone that doesn't mind a glittery highlighter every now and again, I say fuck with it. That's pretty good. It's pretty fun. But I do want to take kind of a brush to see if maybe I can. Oh, you know what? I talked a lot of shit, but with this large fluffy brush, like yes, there is some sparkle, but any unnecessary rogue sparkle that I may have had here or here has gone away. So that's good. Okay, all right, that's not bad. Not the worst highlighter when it comes to glitter, but if you are someone that doesn't like it, I don't recommend it though. These are fun. Again, I'm just gonna shut the video down. All I wanna do is just the highlighters. I'm good. I'm all set. Okay, bye. All right, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on to the eyeshadow palette. Now the eyeshadow palette, I wasn't even aware of that there was uh, anything like this because when I first saw this collection, it just looked like it was accessories and a highlighter. And I was like, I'm sold. But then this little palette came out and look how cute she is. There are 28 fucking shades in this palette. Am I gonna swatch them? Absolutely the fuck not. No, my arm hurts thinking about that. But we are gonna do a fun eye look today. A lot of the shades kind of look very similar, so it makes me wonder like, do you really need all of this? But here we are anyway. Oh, oh, that is, oh, okay. Oh, that's a nice shimmer. Oh, okay, the top, this one kind of sucks swatch wise, but this though, I'm kind of all about this gold one. You know what I kind of, hmm, I don't know what I want to do. This is so fun. <laughs> Oh, I do love a good blue moment. That's hard. Okay, there's a lot of things I wanna do now. First thing I'm gonna do is just prime my eye. 
have a nice base down. We also have a multi-chrome liner too. I wanna make sure that we have time to use that as well. And I think that one, hold on, let me swatch that because I wanna say that, that the one that I picked up had like a kind of a purple blue situation. Oh, this is, this sucks. Do you see that? I don't see it. Ew, I hate this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Um, ooh, ooh, that's gonna burn my asshole. I don't think I'm gonna touch that shit. We're not gonna do that. Anyway, this is like one of the weakest duochrome, multi-chrome shits I've ever seen. Abort, abort, uh, fucking, we're not doing that one. We are, well, okay. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm gonna play with the blues because I kind of want to do a, like a blue gold situation. So I am going to go in and use this light blue shade over here. And okay, I mean, she's there. I'm like really swirling. Okay, there she is. All right, uh, okay, that's better. I was like, really? I don't have all fucking day to do this. Which I mean, listen, I don't mind something that has like a buildable formula, but I also don't want to be here jerking this thing off all day. You know what I mean? I got places to be. <laughs> I got things to do. I'm a busy working lady. But so far, this feels very 80s. <laughs> And I like it. It's going on very nicely. I don't see any sort of uh, patchiness, which is good. No harsh lines. And uh, she's pretty. We love that for me. So I'm gonna go into this dark blue shade right underneath the shimmer. Kind of keep everything in the family today. Anyway, how are y'all? I would normally do two eye looks, but today we have to go out. I have to be one with society because today is actually really beautiful. I think the high is gonna be 78 and it's fucking unheard of. I don't know what's going on. If maybe somewhere is having an extreme blizzard right now, but I'll fucking take it. I need a little bit of, uh, I don't know, normal weather. Not something that it feels like as soon as I step outside, my insides feel like a fucking boiling bag of rice. So <laughs> we don't like that. So I have to go out and do stuff today and seize the day. Cause otherwise um, I would be sad. I would be very, very sad. Me and Alex are starting to uh, watch well, we're trying to get into like watching horror movies and stuff like that. We watch horror movies a lot, but during October, it just feels extra special. So I would love to know from y'all what is everyone watching? Like, I know I have a lot of spooky babies that watch this channel. So what are some of the ones that you're watching? Do you watch like old classics? Do you watch something new? Give me some recommendations too. Because I feel like we've seen so much shit that oftentimes we kind of just don't even feel like watching a lot of new stuff. <laughs> Because <laughs> a lot of the new stuff is usually pretty fucking bad. Um, and we hate wasting our time. So <laughs> I'm curious, what are y'all watching? And is it any good? Or if you have any good spooky shows, preferably ones that have adult language attached to it. As much as I do love a CW romp, um, I kind of want more, you know, adult humor and adult language, you know, like where they say things like fuck and shit. You have any good recommendations? Spray them all over me. I know how disgusting that sounded. You're welcome. All right, so the blue looks good. I look like Mimi Bobak. I'm in love with it. Well, that purple is kind of weak as fuck. Hi, you see that? Yeah. Profusion is usually, I would say, majority of the time, pretty good with, ooh, that's a duochrome, baby. Ooh. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Probably not. Uh, but that look, the swatch kind of looked promising. Maybe we'll try that one. I do love a good pink moment. That's the problem sometimes with Profusion is that Perfusion, when they're good, they're fucking good. But when it comes to like palettes like this, I feel like oftentimes it's like a mixed bag. You're gonna get 50% good, 50% bad. And there are some shadows that I'm like, okay, I could fuck with you. But then there's some shadows I'm like, where are you? I should put you on a fucking milk carton so I can find you. Like where, where did you go? All right, so I wanna add a little bit more blue there because I kind of see the patchiness or like the harsh line right yonder. So I'm trying to see if like maybe if I just Kind of layer it a little bit more. There is a slight bit of patchiness if you see that right there. It's like right, right there. Not the end of the world, but it's annoying the fuck out of me right now. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's like won't go above that line right there or over there now. What the fuck are we doing? What I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to use a little bit of NYX glitter glue. I'm gonna see if that duochrome shade is gonna stick. If it's gonna look like anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on like, hmm, probably like, yeah, this much, this much. I'm gonna do it on like two thirds of the eyelid. In the outer corner, I'm just gonna leave that alone for right now, just in case things go south. Okay, I'm really, I'm just, I, I'm, uh... Oh, I hate this. Okay, I, okay, you see how it's kind of like chunky-ish in some area? Okay, hold please, hold please, hold please. No, it's, okay, okay, it's, it's getting better, it's getting better. It's just, it's a little 
chalky. It's a little chalky in some areas, which not a fan of. So I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. Let's hope that works. Okay, here's the deal. I don't hate it, but it has like a chalky, kind of a cocaine-ish kind of a residue. It's probably the best way I can describe it, okay? <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's very chalky and white. So I mean, I don't love this, I don't love it, but I mean, I think it looks okay, right? It's fine. <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna make this work. So what I wanna do now is take a little bit. So I'm gonna take this deep purple shade down here and we are gonna just put it in the outer corner we're gonna blend into the crease to give it more of like a, a fun cotton candy kind of a moment. Okay, now what I wanna do is take a little bit of that shade. She's cute, she's not bad. I don't love her, but I think this is the best that we're gonna do today. So I'll take it. Now, ugh, I'm a little nervous to kind of go back and use that multi-chrome eyeliner. The problem is, is that it's like skipping. So on some spots it's laying down, but on others, it's just kind of making this area look really wet. Do you see it? Cause I don't. Where the fuck? <laughs> if anything, it's making my eye feel uncomfortable. Like it feels like there's something really heavy and something wet sitting on it. So let's try to go in with another coat. No, this is garbage. Yeah, don't get this one. This one sucks. Um, okay. That hurts. I don't like it. Mm, gone devil woman. All right. <laughs> I don't like that one. That one's not good. So let's do something else. I'm gonna go back into this dark shadow, this dark kind of plummy wine color. And I'll just go over that multi-chrome shade. Not like it mattered anyway. You can't fucking see it. That looks a hell of a lot better. That fucking multi-chrome liner is garbage. Garbage, don't use it. Before I go into the lower lash line, I do want to use this shade up here just to see what it would look like kind of in the inner corner. It's like a light sparkly kind of silver shade. That's cute. I don't hate it. That's adorable. So I'm gonna put on some liner and then we're gonna work on the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with this bluish kind of purple shade. I'm gonna put that right in the lower lash line. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and then I'm gonna go into this kind of light gray color. And we're just gonna blend those edges out. You know what? I gave it a lot of shit, but it's actually kind of cute. I like this. I'm gonna take a little bit of that kind of gray and just throw it just on the edges. It's actually not bad. This is kind of cute. We've come a long way. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the lips. Here's a completed eye look. I kind of love it. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. What else do I have in my bag of tricks? We have three holographic glosses. I'm sorry, they're called the Ghostly Trio three-piece glitter lip topper. Okay, all right, okay. So funny story, I know I was going to use the, uh, ah, <laughs> the cheek lip balms, but you know what? Profusion threw into my order some lip liners. So I kind of want to use these lip liners and I want to use the gloss over them. I'm going to use the one that I didn't put. It's not going to go at all. The coral one. Only because I was kind of thinking about it. I'm like, am I really going to be using a product for my lips and my cheek? Probably not. No, I don't think so. But, oh, hello. Oh, I mean, this is a really nice formula. It's very smooth. This is in the color ghosted. I like it. I don't think it goes with this, but it's actually not bad. I'll be honest. I don't think I'm ever going to use this product for my lips. I think I'm just going to really use it more for a blush because I think as a blush, it looks really, really pretty. So I'm just going to take that off. I'm going to take this lip liner in the shade uh, mauve pencil one. Uh, oh, this, one, this sucks. This was a bad idea. Oh, this lip liner sucks. Oh, this lip liner is a piece of shit. It hurts and there's like barely any fucking pigment. Great, I love that. Okay, I have this uncomfortable lip liner on. Love that for me. That fucking hurt. This, if there was a vampire, I could stab the vampire in the chest with this. Okay. <laughs> That's how sharp this is. And I feel like I now have splinters in my fucking lips. Great. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the first one, which is Boo. We're gonna see how fun this looks. Oh my God, ma'am. Uh. What the fuck is, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't love this. It tastes weird. I, I'm afraid if I keep licking 
<laughs> my lips. I'm gonna be shitting sparkles for years. This is, I mean, all right, this looks a little bit better. Okay, I kind of like sheer it out a little bit. It doesn't look as intense, Um, but I just, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about this one though. The good news is, is that I don't feel like any sort of grit, which is great, but I mean, how often am I really going to be wearing a glitter lip? I thought this was going, I don't know. I didn't think it, it was gonna be this intense. So like on one hand, it's like, this is actually a pretty cool product because it's very fucking intense. And if you like that sort of thing, like you're gonna love this, but uh, I don't. <laughs> So, hold please, hold please, hold please. All right, let's try this one more time. I'm actually gonna put on that ghosted shade now out of curiosity. I kinda wanna see what these little toppers look like. You know, I do like these as a lip product. I would probably buy another set of these just so I can keep them separate. But I kinda love the colors. Fuck, okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. The formula feels really nice. Okay, so we used Boo. <laughs> let's try the gold one. This is Zop. <gasps> Okay. I kind of don't hate this combination. I kind of don't hate it. I kind of love it. It's a little much. It tastes kind of weird, but you look past it. It's actually really pretty. I actually really like this. Who thought I was going to be a glitter bitch? I didn't think so. I mean, I really like realistically, I kind of love this. I kind of love this. This is not like an everyday thing. Not like an everyday thing. It's not even necessarily like Halloween. Like I kind of feel like I can get away with this during the holidays. Like it's cute. There is a little bit of stickiness to it, but it's like not uncomfortable. So as long as the longevity is good and it doesn't look too fucked up, I think I could wear this. I think this is actually pretty cute. So I want to try the last one and we're going to, again, kind of go over it with the coral lipstick. There is a lot of glitter though <laughs> on my lips. And for that, I hate it. But so we're going to use the last shade, which is Mystic. This has a purple reflect. <gasps> Holy shit. Okay, I kind of love this. It's weird. I don't think it maybe necessarily goes with everything. I need to take a picture because I feel like I look like a bad bitch. Oh, I... <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna put the picture here. I mean, I trust me, right? That's cute. That's cute. I like it. It's different. I like it. <laughs> It's it's a little much, um, but I ain't mad at it though. Like it could be worse. Okay, I kind of fucking love. I love this. I love this. I love it. Okay, I think this is fun. <laughs> Something I thought I would never ever say for a glitter topper. I mean, I look insane. <laughs> But I mean that in the best way possible. Like, I mean, yes, you would walk on the other side of the street if you saw me coming at you. But if you stayed on the right side of the street, I would give you a piece of candy. <laughs> that would get me on a list somewhere so fast. Okay, let's talk about all this stuff. I think we need to, we need to, we need to talk about this stuff. <laughs> I kind of love this fucking collection. <laughs> it's weird, it's stupid, but I love it. I love it so much. So let's talk about the accessories first. The mirror, the mirror is so fucking cute. I love him. This is a good quality mirror. Perfusion makes adorable mirrors. And if you were lucky enough to pick up the Jurassic Park one, this kind of has a very similar quality in terms of the mirror, but the outside of it is a nice, kind of hard plastic. It feels sturdy that like if I did chuck it across the room, not that I would, but if I did, I feel like it would stay intact. It's not flimsy plastic by any means. I love Casper's face here. I love the little acrylic or faux acrylic or whatever the fuck these are, these little charms of like the moon and the star. This is overall cute. Highly recommend whether you check this out on the website or you try to hunt for it in your Walmart. This is adorable, totally worth getting. The bag is really cute. I will say it's definitely on the kind of like cheaper side though. So don't expect much. <laughs> That's probably the best way I could describe it. Like don't expect much. But to me, this is gonna be a bag where like if I fuck it up and spill a bunch of shit in here, I'm not gonna be that upset about because one, it is plastic. So it is pretty easy to clean. And if it does look shitty and I have to throw it out, it's not the end of the world. I'll try not to because I really do love the logo here. I love that it's iridescent. I think I think it's really cute and I feel like it's a decent size to get a, a good amount of products in it but quality wise not my favorite thing that I have seen this brand do so kind of keep that in mind like lower your expectations with this it feels kind of cheap plus you do get face and body gems which is something that I didn't do because I'm gonna do these later uh, <laughs> behind a paywall bitch all right so <laughs> the other thing I picked up which I didn't use are these sponges listen I am, go don't worry, I am gonna have a video coming out about like my little sponge collection that I have 
and my little makeup bags, don't you worry. But I love that Profusion made these Casper sponges. Texture wise, this feels very, very firm. Definitely, definitely like not the kind of sponge that I really like personally. I like a nice soft pawpaw sponge, right, from Shop Masse. That to me is like the best kind of sponge out there. This definitely feels very, very firm. But honestly, I feel like you'd be a monster if you use this, because look how cute it is. Look at his little face. You can't use him. Imagine putting foundation all over this little guy. No, you fucking monster. So for me, I actually got two of these because I'm going to be filling little holes in my room. That sounded weird, but I'm gonna be filling things up with <laughs> with sponges and I just I love the little faces he, he just makes me so happy this was definitely worth checking out application wise Katie can tell you how it is but I feel like like I said you'd be a fucking monster if you did use it and also you do get two different little faces so you get like a little winky face and you get a little happy face and they're just so good they're just so good they're so cute. Now moving on to the cheek and lip balms. I'm actually kind of surprised that I really love them as a blush. I think it's a very beautiful formula. I didn't feel like it was taking up any of the product underneath. I felt like the two shades that I used together, Love You and Hey Boo, really worked well together. You had this nice like baby pink, oh, kind of almost like corally baby pink, mixed with this nice kind of light, pink purple shade. The combination of the two I feel like are just really, really nice. They're soft. They blend very, very well together. Even when blending them on the back of my hand, it's just a very beautiful shade. I found that the formula dry down pretty fast, but not too fast where it feels like, oh shit, I can't move anything on my face. And most importantly, when it does dry down, it doesn't dry down to like, um, kind of like a tacky or weird kind of finish. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. As a lip product, I really like these too, but I'll be honest with you. I have tried in the past to be that kind of bitch that has used like multi-purpose products for both like cheek and face. And I often find that I lean one way or the other. I really like the formula of these. So I think because they are, I believe $11, it's not breaking the bank. So I'm gonna go and purchase another set just to use them exclusively as lip products. So I wanna keep them separated, but I really love them as a lip product. They feel really, really comfortable on the lips. They're not overly drying. As somebody who has like really, 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 really dry lips, this is comfortable, this is cute. I like the colors and fuck, I'm, I'm in love. I think this and the combination of the little sparkle glitter topper, I feel like I'm 16, but I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> I love it. I think it's really, really cute. So I love these products. I think they're really, really awesome. Moving on to the highlighters. <laughs> Bitch, excuse me. These are good. If you want an alien slut highlighter, look no further. They are glittery though. So kind of keep that in mind. If you do not like any glitter at all in your highlighters, then I would say steer clear. But if you don't mind a little bit of glitter here and there, it's not terrible. It's not the worst product. It's not the best product. I definitely noticed with the Fabulous, I think that that's the one, right? Or is it Ghosting You? No, I think it was Ghosting You felt like it was a little bit more Sparkle Bukkake as opposed to Fabulous, which felt like it was a little bit more contained. So kind of keep that in mind. But I will say that when I did use a big like fluffy brush to kind of like brush away some of those sparkles to make the highlighter look a little bit more seamless in the skin, it did take away some of the rogue sparkles. I think shift wise, they are so pretty. I love that these don't have a base. So it just feels like your skin looks like wet glass, which I love. And the shift on them kind of feels a little bit like multi-chrome in a way, because I definitely see three different colors. It's not just two, I see three different colors and it just is probably the most wearable kind of multi-chrome-ish kind of highlighter. Now don't get me wrong, like, when you compare it to like a traditional, say like indie multi-chrome highlighter, like that shit's intense. Comparing it to this is definitely more subtle, but I would say it's, it's definitely like more of a wearable version of it. But yeah, I see like the pink, the blue, the purple in this. It's gorgeous. I think this is really cute. I really like it. I like it a lot. I still love the Jurassic Park highlighters. These are just, oh, they're just, they're so good. They're so good. So very, very happy about these. Although the only complaint that I do have is packaging. These are very, very difficult to open. So I often feel like I'm gonna break a fucking nail every time I open it. But when I did open this initially, there was a layer of plastic on top of it that was almost impossible to get off. I had to like take a knife, poke a hole in it in order to get like the plastic film off. So just kind of a heads up there that these things are definitely like really just fucking stuck in there. But once you do free them, they're everything that I expect them to be and more. So very happy about those products. So let's move on to the eyeshadow palette. Now this actually wasn't that bad, but I don't, 
I don't think I needed it. When Profusion's good, Profusion's good, but when they're bad, they're fucking bad. And this one's kind of like a middle of the road palette. There were some shades that had no issues, but then there were some shades that I was like, what the fuck is going on? For example, like this dark blue shade. Initially I was like, oh, okay, this looks really, really pretty. But the more that I used it, the more I noticed that it was very, very patchy and it was impossible to blend out on one portion of my eye. And I thought, okay, well maybe it's this eye. Nope, it happened on this eye too. There's just something about this in the crease that is very, very patchy. So that's just a heads up. The other matte shades that I use in this palette, these two, this one down here, this one, they were fine. I had no issues with them. I think they're definitely a buildable formula, which is not the end of the world. But if you want something that's like instant pigmentation, Mmm, you're not really gonna find that too much here. This is something that you're gonna have to like baby a little bit. When it comes to the shimmers, I'm kind of a little upset with myself now that I didn't really use this gold one because out of this whole palette, this gold one feels so good. I believe there's 12 shimmers, right, in this whole palette. There's one that feels very, very silky smooth. Everyone else has kind of like a powdery, weird kind of a residue that you're like what the fuck is, like what is what is this this gold super pigmented everything else barely there barely there except for the blue the blue actually shows up and look at that purple like Mm -mm, mm -mm. Now what I wind up actually putting on my eyelid was this duochrome shade up here and that one you know I expected more. When I swatched it on my finger I was like oh shit like you can see a really nice shift but then when I used it with a brush and some glitter glue it just looked white like really off-putting like it had some sort of like weird flower on top of it. It was fucking weird but then after I started using my finger and kind of pressing the shade in a little bit more it started to pop but not by much. I feel like I definitely have better duochromes from indie brands or even fucking drugstore brands than this one. This one was kind of disappointing for me. If I could go back in time, I don't think I would pick up this palette. I'm not mad that I have it. I'm not really mad that I have it, but it's just like something that I know I'm not gonna really get that much use out of because the quality is just, it's all right, it's okay. So overall, I would say, skip this. You don't really need this one. It's not really that special. And I'm pretty sure you have shades like this in your collection with far better quality. So you don't need this. Moving on to the multi-chrome liner. No, fuck that, ew. I'm sorry, duochrome liner. I'm so sorry, not multi-chrome, duochrome liner. Uh, yeah, th there's no pigment. There's no pigmentation, there's nothing. When I put it down, it just looked like globs of wet. This is fucking disgusting. I wouldn't even give this to my enemy, okay? Like that's how shitty it is. There is a little bit of, it wasn't like a spicy butthole, but like definitely a heaviness when I did have the product in my eye. Thankfully it dissipated, which is good uh, because otherwise I would have had to take my whole eye look off and I'd be like not very happy about that. But yeah, this was fucking garbage. Don't recommend it. Trash, fuck that thing. And then I think the last thing we have are these glitter toppers. Yo, okay. Initially I wasn't gonna pick that one up because I was like, eh, who the fuck, well, I don't need these. These are good, they're weird, but they are fucking fun. I've never had a lip gloss kind of like this. I've never had something where it did have sparkle, but it's like bam in your face sparkle. Like I feel so powerful and cool. <laughs> I don't know necessarily if this all of this goes, probably not. I feel like I just look like I rolled out of a bush somewhere trying to sell you some Mary Kay products from the 80s, but I love it. I love it. I think this is really, really fun. I think the formula, it definitely dries down. It's, it's no longer sticky, which is really, really good. And I keep checking just to make sure that the sparkles hasn't dissipated and they're still there. My lips feel very, very comfortable. I use this over one of the cheek and lip balms and I think the combination of the two is just nice. Like. Again, I have very, very dry lips and I feel very, very comfortable right now. I'm not noticing any cracking, any fading, any flaking, any sort of like rogue glitter bukkake. Everything looks really fucking cool. I love that the shifts are so strong. Again, never had a glitter topper to be like this at all. Never had that. It's kind of really fucking impressive. The gold and the coral shade ghosted. That could actually just be probably the most wearable. <laughs> the most wearable out of these three products. But there's something to be said about kind of like this purple blue flip that I have on right now. I'm obsessed with it. I really like it. And dare I say, I actually want to get a backup of these because I don't think I'm ever going to find a product like this. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's comfortable and it's fucking cool to look at. Like I look like a badass bitch. I probably look fucking wild, but I, in my mind, 
think I look like you cannot fuck with me right now. You don't want to fuck with me. You don't want to find out what's behind the glitter lip. You know what I mean? And I want that in makeup. I want things that make me feel like a powerful see you next Tuesday. Don't we all? Come on. I honestly cannot get over that this whole set costs $11. $11 for a lifetime of happiness. <laughs> I am so happy you have no fucking idea. Like this is so good. I cannot wait to buy a backup of these. I'm not even fucking with you. That's what I'm doing because I think they're so cool. I love this. Okay, there you have it. I really enjoy this collection more so than I thought I ever would, honestly. I thought it was gonna be like a bunch of gimmicky bullshit, but there are some things that I would say, yep, skip, but there are other things that I'm like, no, these are actually really fucking good. And why isn't other people talking about it? You know what I mean? So if you were interested in any of it, I would say the highlights are the clearly the mirror, the mirrors, everything, the blush and lip balm trio. <laughs> these fucking glitter toppers, and of course the highlighters. Everything else, oh, and the sponges, the sponges are cute too, but don't use them, otherwise you're a monster. Everything else, eh. No, no, bag's okay, but it could be better. I say those are the highlights. Everything else is kind of like mid. Like, all right, not bad. So yeah, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I would love to hear from y'all now. Um, let me know down below if you're interested in checking out any of these products. And if you are, yay for you. <laughs> yay for you. Know that you actually got some cool fucking shit. Um, this, cause this collection is actually, I can't even believe it's exceeding my expectations. It really is though. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, threads, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, trashy, filthy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty. Garbage boat afloat, couldn't do it without you. Love your adorable little delicious faces. I just wanna gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below, and I'll see you little cupcakes later. Bye!